Hello and welcome to XLOOKUP with multiple columns. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. How can I do XLOOKUP with multiple conditions? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. The first way we'll tackle this is by using concatenation. Here we have a data table with invoice, customer, item, and amount columns. We wanna write a formula that returns the item and amount for the row that matches this invoice and this customer equals XLOOKUP. So with this approach, we're gonna use concatenation. One way to do that is by using the concatenation operator, the ampersand. For example, we wanna look up this and and this comma we want to look for that in here and here comma and we want to return both the item and amount column values close the function and enter as we can see this did the match and returned the related values perfect is there another way to do this Sure, let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. Another way to do this is with Boolean arrays equals X lookup. We wanna go find one, which can be interpreted by the calc engine as true. A zero would be false. So we wanna go find true in this resulting array. And the array is where the invoice column is equal to our invoice value. And then I'm gonna use a multiplication operator for and, and where the customer is equal to this customer. Close that second condition, close the function argument, comma, and then I wanna return the results in here. Close function and enter. And as we can see, this approach also worked. The XLOOKUP function stops at the first match. In other words, if there were multiple matching rows like there are now, nothing changes. In other words, it stops at the first match. But what if we wanted to return all matches? Well, that leads us to the next exercise, exercise three. If we wanna return all matching rows, we're gonna to wanna to use the filter function instead of the XLOOKUP function. The XLOOKUP function, like other traditional lookup functions, scan down and stop at the first matching row whereas the filter function will return all matching rows. Let's check it out. Equals filter. I want to return values from here, comma, and now we can set up our conditions. Just like we did before, we're gonna have two opening parens. The first condition is where the invoice column is equal to our invoice. Close that first condition, multiplication operator for and, open up the second condition, where cust equals our cust. Close that condition, close the argument, close the filter function, and enter. And now, as you can see, the values from all matching rows are returned. Which one do you like better, XLOOKUP or filter? Let me know in the comments. So this is how we can use multiple conditions. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 